MultiBeliever.com. It is a windy day, which is a great excuse for book lovers to just curl up in a good comfortable chair, get a cup of coffee, and get a book in your hands. So I want to recommend another book this week. I want to go uh, maybe a little bit about theology. So today I'm looking at a great book, Concise Theology, The Guide, excuse me, A Guide to Historical Christian Belief by J.I. Packer. This thing was put out in uh, the 90s, 1993. I believe Tyndale published this great book. Now here's the advantage. I know what you're thinking. Like, if you're not really into theology, do you want to read some big giant book about systematic theology or whatever? It's not what this book is. You could almost read this book devotionally, but let's say you don't know a lot of theology and you just maybe want to know a little bit more about uh, what the theology of the Bible is, understanding God in that way. This is a good book for that reason. Here's why. This book basically breaks down all the big theological things into about a one page, two-page breakdown. Each one has a verse that starts it more devotionally, and then you get about a a simple page, a page and a half of information. And it is loaded with scriptures, so if you want to look, you can go to the other scriptures and look for yourself. But I mean, there's probably about a hundred or so topics in this. It might be more. Uh, the, The book is 267 pages long. Each topic gets a page or two, so I suspect there's more than a hundred topics, and so you can't see this very well, but uh, here's the contents. Um, Revelation, then interpretation, general revelation, guilt, inward witness, authority, knowledge, self-disclosure, transcendence, sovereignty, sacrifice, meditation, covenant, law, demons, angels, providence, goodness, wisdom. These are the, the theological topics Um, legalism, antinomianism, love, hope, enterprise, prayer, oaths and vows, elders, sacraments, baptism, uh, discipline, missions, spiritual gifts, marriage. I mean, this thing covers all kinds of stuff. Resurrection, um, election, salvation, regeneration, justification, the incarnation, the the two natures of Christ, which is the the hypostatic union. And then, so you, you could take this thing and just read one a day if you wanted, and over the course of you know, half a year, learn some great theology. This thing's a good book. It's a good one to have on the shelf, especially if you just want to see how do I simply, precisely discuss, say, the ascension. And you can read this in a way that doesn't come across like you're just reading a giant uh, textbook. It's really intended to be the sort of devotional driven work. So that is my recommendation for you today. And if, you, if you're looking for a good theology book, I would suggest go find Concise Theology by J.I. Packer. You can probably still find this thing wherever books are sold. It's been around for a while. You might even be able to find it used or, or you know, in a secondhand bookstore or something. That's my encouragement to you. Pick up a good book. In this case, learn some good theology from J.I. Packer. Thanks for your time, and uh, keep on reading.